street signs that let us know where to stop, how to go, and perhaps most important, where we are. But some street signs are susceptible to theft, like on High Street, where if you're on it, there's actually no way of knowing. Um, I've lived on High Street for about two years, and for at least a year, we've had one sign down down the way, um, and it's probably been gone for six months or so. Um, I don't really know uh, where it went or what happened to it, or if the city is planning to replace it, but. According to city officials, of Ann Arbor's more than 1,000 streets, 27 have needed sign replacements at least twice in the last five years. While city records don't indicate whether a street sign was stolen as a memento of the college partying days, or say, killed in a nightmare, the names of some of the streets on the list indicate thieves are afoot of a particular humor. Now here at the corner of this street, the city has taken preventative measures by putting the signs about three times as high as on normal streets. Of the seven intersections on this particular street, only one is under 12 feet in the air. On this corner, the city has stacked two poles on top of each other to get the street sign out of the way from vandals, and you can probably guess why. Who would want to steal some of the other signs on the list wasn't quite as clear, but I had a hunch about one particular sign. Has anyone ever come in here looking for an easy street sign, confused about the easy button? Uh, no, they usually just come in and press the easy buttons and laugh. Away. There's no easy button for investigative journalism, but a hunch about another street on the list led me to a popular Ann Arbor destination. One of the street signs that city officials have reported has need to be replaced over the past five years is Dewey Street. When I think Dewey, I think Dewey Decimal System. Related? I bet it is. This is a community that loves to read and check out materials of nonfiction. So I can picture that people who might be sitting at home watching their nonfiction DVDs or reading their nonfiction books have a big old Dewey sign in their quiet space. This people here love their library. The Dewey Decimal Advocates were nowhere to be found once news of their operation broke, but they can't hide forever. For Ann Arbor.com, I'm Pete Cunningham.